appearances. She's played Red Fox's daughter in Royal Family. She played O.J. Simpson's wife in First and Ten. And you might have seen her on uh, the soap opera, Edge of the Night. Here she is, everybody. Come on, clap it up. She's here now. Marianne Alma. Okay, a lot of you might wonder why an actress would suddenly decide to do stand-up comedy because most stand-ups are trying to get a, a show and be on television. Well, for 20 years I had a really nice career and then I turned 45 and they took it all away. <laughs> I know, it's really sad. Hollywood doesn't know what to do with middle-aged women. It's like, you're too old to play Gidget and you're too young to play Grandma. So they don't know what to do, except that in real life, I am a grandmother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this is what real grandmothers look like, but Hollywood has this like little old lady, you know, kind of, and I'm, I'm not doing that shit for anybody. I'm too vain, you know? So, you know, I decided that I would reinvent myself like Roseanne Barr. I would be a, a spokesperson for the women of my generation. I would do stand-up comedy and just totally recreate myself. This shit is hard. <laughs> it's really, you know, when you do a sitcom, they give you a script, you learn the lines, you know, and, and, and you don't even have to really be that funny because when you're, you're doing it in front of a live audience, they have applause signs. Applause, applause, applause. <laughs> laugh, laugh, laugh. All I have is me <laughs> and my sister. <laughs> I can't believe she did. That. Okay, here. I bet her. <laughs> she won. Okay, that's twenty bucks. I'm gonna have to use your train ticket to get home. Okay, but anyway, you know I. <laughs> I just think it's, it's, you know, it's really hard because now I have to write my own material. I have to write jokes. This is my joke. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Watifa. What the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> this is just so hard, you know, this is so hard. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Are, are there any baby boomers out here? Okay. okay, okay, then you understand. You know, getting old, you know what? We should really come up with a better name for ourselves because I think that boom went bust a long time ago. You know, we should come up with something really cute and clever like Generation X or Generation Y. We should be Generation G, as in G, how in the hell did I get to be this damn old? But it happens to everybody, you know? But one of the advantages of, of doing stand-up is it's also a good way to meet men. And I'm divorced and... <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> oh, to, to, uh, to her? We'll talk. <laughs> you know, because, because I am a black, middle-aged, middle-class, college-educated black woman. Statistically, that means I've got as much chance of getting a date as a C student, former alcoholic frat boy does of being elected president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> but George Bush found God. And he prayed, and he prayed. And he got elected not once, but twice. And that gives me hope. <laughs> there will be another man in my life someday as long as I'm willing to get down on my knees yeah. Yeah. and pray yeah right <laughs> oh god yeah I'm also an empty nester my kids went off to college and my husband flew the coop <laughs> with a chick chick here and a chick chick there, here a chick, there a chick, everywhere a chick chick. And they were all at least 10 to 20 years younger than he was, so he really was old McDonald. But 
now he's asking me to take him back again because he can't keep up with them. And you know what I say to him? E-I, E-I, no. Is there such a thing as Rogaine for pubic hair? No, no, seriously. Seriously. I, I have great concerns about this whenever I think of some stranger seeing me naked for the first time. And what about the gray? Should we dye or pluck? Yeah. yeah. I'm liking you more and more. And why is it that as you get older, the hair always thins out on the mound, but stays just as thick as ever around the rim, requiring continuous bikini wax maintenance unless you want to end up with a fryer tuck look. And at least men can do comb overs. You know what we need? We should have a hair club for coochies. I think they already have one in Japan. No, really, they have one in Japan. It's called Hello Pussy. Yeah. But you know, there is something to be said for bald. Bald can be beautiful. Because once I had a Yo Brenner or a Michael Jordan, if you're not old enough to remember, and had a hot wax Brazilian, which removes everything down there, including several layers of skin. <laughs> However, with tinted moisturizer, it results in a fresh, luminescent, prepubescent, dewy look, <laughs> which is very popular among men with a Lolita fantasy, <laughs> especially old, rich, white guys. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know this. <laughs> But if there are any of you out here tonight in the audience, there is a sign-up list in the bar. <laughs> I'm kidding, you don't have to be old. <laughs> or white. <laughs> but this is not negotiable. Because if this stand-up comedy shit doesn't work out, I'm gonna need somebody to finance my reality TV show on the internet. Thank you very much. Good night, you're in